Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. I'm running to the expo right now, walking to the train station and today I'm going to attend one of the most um, interesting pavilions of expo. It's a women pavilion and I'm going to attend the event. I would love to share with you whatever is going to happen today and hope you will find it very useful for yourself. The weather is so good today, such a blessing because I'm sure I have to walk a lot outside. You can literally make it to Expo by any metro station because it's very simple and easy. Uh, you wouldn't get lost and it's a very easy way to get into there. Here we are, Dubai Internet City Metro Station, right here. Your attention please, the train to Expo 2020 will depart from platform I am in now, walking to the women's pavilion. I'm very excited. Okay, almost made it to the event on time. You all have experience and I'm certain you're aware of what Afghanistan has gone and is going through. The fire that is burning this country right now. I really loved uh, Women Pavilion and it was an amazing session there with inspiring women who are um, so powerful and brave to announce that um, they're challenging some things and they encourage the world to be in their women in Afghanistan and it's just so powerful and it's amazing. The next pavilion I'm planning to attend is Saudi. I heard a lot about the uh, Saudi pavilion and they have so many good reviews and I haven't get the chance to visit them yet even though it's my not the first time in Expo. So I'm going to find them and uh, see what's going on in there. On the way to Saudi, I crossed by the Korean pavilion. I, I cannot resist to go in because I love the food and probably I'm going to have my lunch in here. So yeah, let's see. Oh gosh, there are so many people I'm queuing. Okay, let me see if I can squeeze in somehow. I believe it's one of the most packed pavilion in Expo 2022 because there is no other pavilion has such a long line as here. Wow, even during the daytime. So I recommend this one only for the memories. Take more pictures with your own sample. And this is the screen that will show up once you move in front of the image marker. Image markers are the white and black picture located on the outside part of the ramp. This is going to be. <laughs> So at the 
uh, entrance they gave us these mobile devices to guide us through the pavilion and from here we can see the entire view of the expo Super tiring to walk here, and I think the great thing about um, Korean Pavilion that they have this kind of uh, sofas, chairs, uh, chilling pillows to rest. Yeah, it's a big, big thing, I guess, for Expo 2020 because people need to rest somewhere. Yeah, it's super exhausting to walk a lot, and it's pretty cool. I really love it. experience in Korean pavilion I would rate it 10 out of 10 because the food was amazing the performance was good the uh, show and the introduction of the country and the technology in there was amazing too so I would definitely recommend you to come here it's amazing guys I guess the next one is gonna be Estonia Pavilion in Estonia was very small so it took me like less than three minutes to walk around and there is a coffee shop if you fancy to have to have a coffee but since I'm full I'm gonna look for another pavilion to walk in and I'm still searching for the Saudis pavilion so I'm very excited to see that yay made it to Saudi here we are. This is incredible. Look. This is amazing. I love Saudi's pavilion. It's so good. 
It's a mixture of traditional and modern Saudi. They made it really work out. It's, it's really worth of uh, seeing and it's uh, what I expected even more than that. I really loved it. Heading to Israel now. There is something else is happening today. Uh, very much uh, great thank you to you, Khalifa, personally, but also to the government of Israel and to our partners that are here today to take those important... Uh... At a very uh, interesting session in Israel, there was another uh, speech regarding the gender equality topic. So done with that. Um, but I didn't walk to the pavilion because I've been there before earlier, a few weeks back. So. I definitely recommend you to come and see the place. It's really lovely. Um, very traditional towards more uh, to the modern side, modern side of uh, Israel. So yeah, definitely would recommend you to come. And exploring the rest, there are a few more pavilions I wanna see today. Today is a national day of UK and right there in the UK pavilion, um, Prince William is supposed to come and uh, say hi to everyone. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. The Sweden was wasn't really big, but it was nice. Um, and I had some food in there. Always will go for IKEA, love it. Uh, now walking towards Uzbek Pavilion. I've been there once, but um, I didn't fully cover it. I just went to the restaurant, and this time I want to see what my country brought to the expo. Alright, yeah. covered was big pavilion, pretty impressive, more than I expected there. And uh, another one is uh, Germany, so I'm traveling to Germany right now. And yeah, let's see what else I'm gonna cover today. By the way, it's impossible to cover all of the pavilions in one day, you need like at least three days in a row otherwise it's not possible because it's really 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 huge place to be in and there are so many interesting people are happening in the middle so yeah uh, prepare yourself for like at least three days in a row I've been here only once and I went to Uzbek restaurant once then the second time I went to Israel Pavilion and then I went to Netherlands. Netherlands are beautiful, like they're like, they made it really cool and nice. I love that. I went to Spain and I think I went to, oh yes, I went to Malaysia as well. And I, I think that's all. So yeah, and the rest I'm covering today. Hello Germany, how are you? The queue is insane, 
but I guess I have no choice. I just have to go for it because it's on my checklist. Germany is nice, it's big enough, there are so many things to see and play and all. Jane here, but queues are literally everywhere you go to, so it's gonna take you like at least an hour to queue to each and everything here. But total experience is good. Travel the world today, super exhausted, super tired, but so fulfilled because um, it's a big eye opener to explore new things, new technology. So, I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>